Good Wednesday, everyone. This is meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska statewide weather. A flood watch remains in effect until late this evening for the Mendenhall Lake and River. It continues for the region until late this evening because Suicide Basin Glacier Dam Lake appears to be releasing again as the lake has been rising through the day. As of about 3 o'clock, it's currently at 8.5 feet below the minor flood stage of 9 feet and nearly steady. A watch means conditions are favorable for the development of flooding in and close to the watch area. So if you're living along Mendenhall Lake and the river, you should stay alert and be prepared to take action if a warning or advisory is issued or flooding is observed. The rain has settled down across southeast, so there is good news there. In the meantime, low pressure sitting across the Kenai Peninsula, still stirring up some showers and thunderstorms, mainly north and east of the Anchorage metropolitan area. North of the Yukon River showers and a widespread area of clouds continue across the central and northern parts of the interior. A lot of that is focusing on the western parts of Yukon. And out across the central and western bearing, low pressure still sits and spins. Tonight, we're looking at a 1006 millibar low pressure system west of St. Matthew and the Pribilovs. That's going to guide in some steady southwesterly winds up toward St. Matthew and St. Paul. And with that, uh, we'll see uh, warmer than normal conditions spreading through the northern parts of the Bering and into uh, Norton Sound and Kotzebue Sound as we head through tonight. High pressure sitting across the Arctic coast is keeping low clouds and moisture very close to the coastline. Don't be surprised to see a little bit of uh, rain or snow mixed in from time to time. It is cooling down there, especially just offshore. Low pressure south of Kodiak Island is trekking northward with that warmer weather spreading into the central gulf. But it looks like a break in the clouds is expected for a good chunk of central and southern parts of southwestern Alaska. Kodiak Island could see a little more sunshine as well. Showers there for the central and eastern Aleutians with high pressure building in from the west. That's around 1,030 millibars. In the meantime, a few showers could develop around the Juneau, Sitka, and areas eastward as we head into Thursday night. By Friday, low pressure continues working northward in the Gulf of Alaska at 1,002 millibars. Now, this system will strengthen as we head into Friday, Friday night, and Saturday as it heads for eastern sections of uh, Alaska and southeast. We expect to see more showers across the Alaska Range, but a uh, greater risk for light rain develops across the central and western Brooks Range, Norton Sound, Seward Peninsula, including Nome and Unalakleet, and just offshore Point Barrow. Don't be surprised to see another round of rain and snow mixed together. That's a look at Friday. With Alaska statewide weather, I'm meteorologist Dave Snyder. Find us online anytime at 